2,000 tonnes of solid waste arrive each day at this landfill south of Rabat. Rubbish collectors like these roam the streets day and night with their trash cards. But a project launched in 2011 has hired some of these informal trash pickers, helping to turn their lives around. We are much better off since we came here. We got rid of having to work under the sun or rain. We have social security and our earnings help us support our families. Informal trash collectors are still looked down upon in Morocco, with some still viewing them as trash thieves. But this cooperative, they all have a fixed salary of around 230 euros per month and they take part in waste recycling too. The project was set up as an environmental initiative in a country where household waste causes up to 18% of emissions of greenhouse gas. The company that operates the landfill has invested 650,000 euros in the small cooperative and they say the workers are their priority. This 150 people have formed a cooperative and they are earning their living in an honest way. So they have regained their dignity and now they make their own business, which I think is very well organized. Ultimately, we want to allow 150 families a chance to carry on living. Morocco has pledged to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by 13 per cent by 2020, an ambitious goal which requires support for this type of cooperative and the gradual destruction of 220 unauthorised landfills that still exist in the country. We have established a partnership with local authorities. To date, we have funded 16 of the existing 19 sorting and waste recycling centres. The programme takes time. Six new sorting centres are being built, increasing to 70 centres by 2020. But with the lack of legislation on recycling, it seems it's the trash pickers who will lead the ecological transformation of Morocco, giving value back to waste. Andrew Thompson, CCTV.